today is Tuesday, June 1st. Here are our top stories with Elena. For our top stories, there were sightings of humpback whales in the waters of New York City on Sunday. For the first time in many centuries, scientists have proof of sightings and new sounds after listening to these majestic mammals sing. The whales can be heard underwater for more than 20 miles. In other news, a 16-year-old girl was shot in the chest Monday while riding the bike, while riding her bike near the intersection of Schuyler and Knox Streets in Utica. Police were called to the scene at about 2 p.m. The victim was taken to Elizabeth's Hospital, and police say the victim is 16 years, 16 years old. She is out of surgery and will be sedated until Tuesday when a better assessment of her condition will be known. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, time is running out to purchase a senior ball ticket. Today is the deadline. Senior ball tickets are $20 and are sold in the main lobby from 8.30 to 8.50 and during lunch for late arrival and virtual students. Juniors, it's not too late to request music for prom. Click the link in TJDJ's Instagram bio at tjdj.syr to visit the website and submit a request. Today there will be a mandatory meeting for all students taking AP US History next year on Thursday, June 3rd in the large cafeteria immediately after school. If you are a virtual student, Mr. Eschbacher will contact you. If you cannot attend or have questions, you can contact Mr. Eschbacher in B23 or email mashbacher at esmschools.org. I look forward to meeting you. Let's have a great 2021-2022 school year. On Tuesday, it's going to be uh, it's going to be clear with a chance of some rain, mainly to the north of Syracuse. Today, we'll be we'll, we'll sorry today we'll have a high of 77 and a low of 54. Wednesday will carry on being warm with a high of 79 and a low of 62 degrees. And at Wednesday, we'll have a slight chance of some rain. Thursday will still be warm and it will be much similar to Wednesday with a high of 75 and a low of 63. And Thursday will have a chance of rain with a higher chance of some storms. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Stays undefeated after a huge win over JD, 135 to 38. The boys track team was less fortunate. Uh, the baseball team lost to Syracuse twice, Thursday and Friday. The first game ended with a score of three to one, and the second game ended with a score of seven to six. The softball team lost to CBA six to two, and then beat Cortland on Thursday, 15 to two. The boys across team lost to JD, 20 to five. The girls across team also lost at Fulton, 17 to two. The Syracuse women's lacrosse team almost had the national championship, losing to BC 16-10, and they are going to finish their season with a 17-4 record. The Milwaukee Bucks swept the Miami Heat in the first round of the NBA playoffs. And I'm John, Blue Sports. Just a reminder that Film Fest will be June 4th from 7 to 9 p.m. We'll have more on that later this week. For myself and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.